कि आप मणिपुर जा सके ये आपका सौ दिन का फलसफा है लेकिन कभी कभी सोचती हूं जब सोलह महीने से नहीं गए तो अब आप क्या मणिपुर जाइएगा आपने मणिपुर को उसके हालात पर मणिपुर को जलने के लिए छोड़ दिया है तो मैं सिर्फ इतना कहूंगी कि लोकसभा में बड़ी बड़ी बातें करने वाले चुनाव के दौरान अपना सौ दिन का एजेंडा पे चर्चा करने वाले बड़ी बड़ी जो बातें करते हैं असलियत यह है कि आपकी सारी लफाजी एक जुमला था असलियत यह है कि आपके पास ना कोई एजेंडा है ना कोई प्लान है ना कोई समाधान है समस्याओं का आप लगातार कुर्सी से चिपकने की लालसा में लिप्त हैं आप बैसाखियों पर निर्भर हैं आप ए वन और ए टू की तिजोरिया भरने के लिए हर तिकड़म करने को लालायित हैं और ऐसे में आप हर एजेंसी का दुरुपयोग करिएगा आपसे कुछ सवाल हैं सौ दिन आपके पूरे हुए हैं सौ दिन की विफलताओं पर आपसे कुछ सवाल हैं क्या आपके पास पांच साल का कोई विजन है आप पड़ोसी देशों से रिश्ते सुधारने के लिए क्या कर रहे हैं आज असलियत यह है कि हम अपने पूरे नेबरहुड में आइसोलेटेड है यह आपकी फॉरेन पॉलिसी की का फेलियर है अर्थव्यवस्था इनकम इन इक्वालिटी बेरोजगारी महंगाई महिला सुरक्षा को लेकर आपके पास कोई योजना है भ्रष्टाचार का झुंझुना आप खूब बजाते हैं जिनको भ्रष्टाचारी बुलाते हैं उनको बीजेपी में शामिल कराते हैं सेबी और अडानी पर कब बोलिएगा एजेंसियों के दुरुपयोग पर सुप्रीम कोर्ट आपको लगातार लताड़ लगाता है लेकिन कब तक आप इन एजेंसियों को अपना फ्रंटल बनाए रखिएगा और राजनीतिक प्रतिशोध के लिए इस्तेमाल करिएगा असलियत यह है मोदी जी कि अब आपके पास कुछ बचा नहीं है आरएसएस से आपके कटु रिश्तों का सच सबके सामने है बीजेपी में सिर फुटवल और खींचतान सबके सामने है सरकार दिशाहीन है आपकी झूठी बावाही कुछ चरण चुंबक जरूर कर देते होंगे और आप उसमें खुश हो जाते होंगे लेकिन इस देश की जमीनी हकीकत से अगर आप, आपके सौ दिन को देखा जाए तो आप बहुत दूर हो चुके हैं आई विल वेरी ब्रीफली इन अ नटशेल जस्ट मेक अ स्टेटमेंट इन इंग्लिश एंड दिस इज अबाउट द हंड्रेड डेज ऑफ द मोदी गवर्नमेंट द रियालिटी इज दैट द मोदी गवर्नमेंट हैज फेल्ड ऑन एवरी फ्रंट इट हैज बीन अ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ यू टर्न फ्रॉम लैटरल एंट्री टू द वक्फ बिल टू द ब्रॉडकास्ट बिल to indexation to nps which has now been replaced by ups this has been a u turn government the reality is that indian railways has seen its worst phase 38 rail accidents 21 deaths the rail minister of this country calls these small incidents continues to make reels the reality is that infrastructure built under you made under you has completely collapsed be it bridges and these are 56 infrastructure projects that i'm talking about in the last 100 days alone be it bridges roads statues airports everything built under you from the new parliament that was leaking to the ram temple in ayodhya which was leaking in the garbhagriha to the statue of shivaji to the atal setu every structure to the delhi airport jabalpur airport rajkot airport everything seems to have collapsed and if this is not a proof of corruption then what is In the last hundred days, there have been twenty-six terror strikes in Jammu and Kashmir. Twenty-one of our brave hearts have lost their lives. Over thirty of them injured. Fifteen citizens killed. Forty-seven of them lie injured. Who is responsible for this? Where is the accountability? Is Mr. Modi going to speak about this at all? I don't think so. The reality is there have been a hundred and four cases of crime against women. A hundred and fifty-seven. women have been at the receiving end of this crime you speak on bengal and you must but why do you not speak on badlapur why do you not speak on bihar why do you not speak on uttarakhand why do you not speak on up why is it that the bjp it cell members accused of gang rape in iit bhu are given a hero's reception when they get bail and this is something i'm quoting from your parliamentary constituency let's talk about youth the neat paper leak the many discrepancies found in it the neat pg exam was cancelled ugc net paper leaked joint csr ugc net cancelled ncet paper leak neat pg pariksha jo rad hui thi let's talk about the economy the reality is you were handed over the rupee at 58 to a dollar in 2014 you have taken it down to nearly levels of 84 100 days back the rupee was at 82 to a dollar despite you pumping in a lot of money 
to somehow arrest the fall of the rupee. The rupee is at dangerously close levels of 83.92 when I last checked today. The reality is FDI has consistently fallen. It's down at about 45% from its peaks. The reality is that unemployment is breaking new barriers every day. High prices. People in this country are reeling under high prices, but you clearly don't seem to care. As soon as elections were over, toll prices were increased by 15 rupees, CNG prices shot up, commercial LPG prices shot up, common flour to pulses to milk prices, all of that shot up. You troubled mil middle class with LTCG, with indexation, and that tells you how much trouble you can create for the middle class. I cannot not speak about the SEBI and the Adani conundrum. India's market regulator finds, and the chief of India's market regulator finds herself in the middle of a huge scandal. All kinds of allegations have been raised. From this very platform, my colleague Pawan Khera has consistently exposed Madhvi Puri Butch, but you do not speak a word. Allegations against Mr. Adani are coming from Switzerland and Kenya, but you do not speak a word. For how long are you going to keep quiet? Allegations of misuse of office, of conflict of interest, of various things has come against India's market regulator. Where is the faith that domestic and foreign investors must have in our markets? I cannot not speak about Ladakh. There is a delegation of people from Ladakh marching from Ladakh to Delhi against the Chinese occupation. They have consistently raised questions on that. They have consistently asked for your attention. What are you now going to do? Are you going to dig roads? Are you going to put cement blocks? Are you going to stop them with tear gas? What are you going to do to these people? And when are you going to speak on Ladakh? And last but not the least, what is your plan for Manipur? Manipur that has been burning for the last 16 months, where violence has erupted again, where internet is banned, where curfew is imposed, where 12 people have lost their lives in the last two weeks, where RPG and drones and rockets are now being used for fresh attacks, where security forces are being attacked and attempts are being made to snatch away their weaponry. What are you going to do about Manipur? Will you never go to Manipur, Mr. Prime Minister? It's very clear that you are saddled with various allegations. It's very clear that your relationship with RSS is at an all-time low. It's very clear that there is huge factionalism within the BJP and all that you're interested in is political survival, come what may. And for that, you are obviously dependent on your allies. For that, you are willing to turn a blind eye to the problems of this country. But questions will be raised about what plan do you have for this nation? How long do you continue? Do you plan to continue to misuse our agencies? What are you going to do about women security? What are you going to do about unemployment to rein in prices? There are various issues that face this nation. And on all those fronts, you have miserably failed this country. Ye saudin ka fal safa hai. Hum aapke saath har aneksher ko, is puri press release ko, in saare pratikatma graphics ko, saajha karenge, aapke sawaalon ka swagat hai. Ma'am, aapne saudin ki baat ki hai, inhi saw ke jo, पहले अगर इसके बारे में बात कर लें तो मैं अनुग्रह सौ दिन में ही वो चार दिन भी तो हैं पहले जो मैंने बात करी उस पर पूछ लोगों को पूछ लेते हैं फिर आप से मैं करूंगी जी